Power of Life for seniors, the next edition today. And today we will be talking about longevity. What is the longevity? Longevity is the live healthy, independent, be happy. And today I explain you the many places in the world who live longer than we are just thinking. I show you today the beautiful three places where people live 120 years. 120 years? Yes, 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 exactly 120 years. It's possible? Yes, of course, everything is possible. But important is to plan your healthy and longer life. And many people wrote me question who I am about my accent. I am originally from Poland. My name Katarzyna Doros. But short version is Kate Doros. I do a lecture for people 50 plus seniors and women in the world. And I develop special application. Last year, where is COVID? Just doing for us and we stay in home. And I developed the beautiful first application for seniors in the world named Active 50. You see the screen and this is everything about my app. You have the amazing story every day what's motivate you to live healthy, to be happy and wake up from the bed and doing your beautiful job. You have the recipe from the healthy food. You have the memories exercise when every day you have many questions. And the beautiful, in the application, you have the biography. And you have every day video, four video with special exercise for every level where you are. What's this mean? If you are more flexibility, you're doing different video and you follow me. Uh, but when you are staying in the wheelchair or you just less flexibility, you start exercise, you follow me in the different video. You have reminder every day how to drink water from one liter half to two liters every day, go for walk and meditate. And I remind you every day. I am with you every day. And I show you the beautiful of how to change your habits, how to be happy, healthy, independent, and everything It's in the phone, Android, or iPhone. Go to your iPhone, to the App Store, and just check application Active 50. Active 50, first app for seniors. What's I doing more? You know, I wrote a couple of books, but the, my favorite books is the Your Path to Happiness, Health with Absolutely No Age Limit. Is the first my book. The book is from English language and the Spanish language. I show you, yes. These two books, it's very important for everybody who want to know more and want to start the healthy education. It's about the power of self-esteem, positive thinking, forgiving, age and state class, healing power of emotions, revitalization, healthy eating habits, etc. And many, many more. And I have more books about brain exercise, how to save energy after 50. I show you after more. But today, the topic is very important for us. It's always my first question to you. How long do you want to live? Now, give your answer. My answer is 100 years minimum, but I want to be independent because independent is everything. Here is the picture, thank you so much. Here is the picture when I'm doing my lecture. And uh, I have from 150 to 1,000 people who come to my lecture. And I always training you, I start to help you to be independent, healthy. We don't, sometimes we live alone in home, which don't mean that we are feel alone. 
but we are independent, go for shopping and take care from the house, clean the house, uh, doing cleaning, everything. Why? Because the independent life, it's everything what we like. We don't wait when children or grandchildren coming to us house and just clean, wash dishes, etc. No, this is the pleasure to take care for ourselves. And today I give you the beautiful, beautiful for example. The I tell you about health secret of the Hunza place. Here you see the person who is the f first and last the oldest person in the world. He forget when he is born and probably he have plus minus 180 years to 200 years. You see the beautiful wrinkles in the face. You see the beautiful human and he for last his day be independent. He live in China and he been like doctor or pharmaceutic, pharmaceutical uh, person. The second person who lived longer is the woman, 121 years, and she is from France. And uh, happy, happy woman. She does, and when the journalist give her question, what's you doing in your life, then you live longer, she always explain then the happiness it's then she eat everything but little bit small pieces pieces of every food she drink little bit little bit little bit just like three five spoon wine every day if in the evening she don't eat too much pills she have good blood pressure she work for last her day it's not amazing and i explain you today about hunza Hunza Group. What is the secret of the blue zone longevity to the inhabitants of Sardinia in Italy, Loma Linda in California, Okinawa, Japan, and the Greek Ikaria Islands? What is the secret of a long, healthy life in these people? A key factor is the lifestyle and the environment for life expectantly only 20 percent correspond to genes and first the important is the movement the dose of natural motion people in the hunza in the himalaya always dedicate his life to work in the garden What's mean have natural vitamin D? What's mean make the vegetables and fruits and have the beautiful exercise? Because you just don't sit in your sofa and you don't have pilot in your hands and you just watch TV. You just go to the garden and you have nature, beautiful nature. And I show you the first movie about Hunza Group. Enjoy. Hi, hello. At age 112, Anna Stair still plays a mean game of Scrabble. Anna's seen a lot of changes in her long life. Well, I think electricity. I think that's one of the greatest things. She was born in 1900. William McKinley was president. Most people traveled by horse and buggy, and people saw a doctor only if they needed one. If you needed a doctor, you called him and he'd come out. You didn't go in. In Anna's 112 years, she was rarely sick. In fact, she was in the hospital a total of... Two nights, by the way. Once after a car accident. That was years and years ago. <laughs> the second time because she had an issue with some medication. What's her secret? Eat bread. Maybe I buy one loaf a year. I know this past year I never even bought a loaf. No, I bake bread all the time. Baking bread. What Anna really means is that she attributes her long life in part to good genes, clean living, and staying active. Anna lives alone and cooks and cleans for herself. There's not a speck of dust in her house, which is on a farm in rural Minnesota. I always said I couldn't see why people had to go out walking for exercise. If you do what do you see there is to be done, you get all the exercise you can have. 
Dr. Paul Takahashi is a geriatric specialist at Mayo Clinic who says Anna's got it right. Being active and doing strength training, doing aerobic activity is really key. Staying connected, like playing Scrabble with a friend, is also important. I think that we're all very social beings. We have to have that human connection. Anna says, sure, staying active and connected is important, but she also says the real reason she's been blessed with a long, healthy life comes from above. Well, I know it's the Lord's doing, but I sure didn't do anything. For Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Vivian Williams. Do you see what is the happiness in the life? Just small, it's always better, less. It's more. The second, what is very important for people who live like 120 years, is the purpose. Resident of Okinawa call it ikagai, but it not bad cases and can be translated. The reason why I get out of the bed in the morning. Many of people have the um, ikagai go to work. But when we cross the 60 uh, age and we go to retire it up close to 70, what is your ikagai? What is your purpose to wake up in the morning? Many people have dog and just go for a walk. Many people have grandchildren or big family and wake up to help the family. But answer of many of my people who I meet in the world and I meet like 300,000 seniors in the world from my lecture, many people just tell me I wake up just because I want my cup of coffee. If this is your reason to wake up, it's good. Any reason what you have, any purpose what you have in your life, to wake up in the morning is very good because give you the power and expression. My pur purpose to wake up in the morning is to write to another book or come to this uh, Central Valley TV station and give you the show and teach you a little bit about healthy life and longevity and doing the show, Power of Life. And uh, what is your purpose? Just think today when you watch the show. Next, what is very important to the people in the Hunza group and Okinawa is the relax. Even people with blue zone know that the stress it's give us sickness. And a stress leads to chronic inflammation, which are responsible for most of the diseases of old age. However, people living hundreds have something that we are missing. Ways to relieve tension. And so Okinawa spent a few moments a day remembering ancestors. Adventist pray and Ikarian take and another nap and watch the second movie, please. The Hansa people have been recognized worldwide for having people of unique longevity and an incomparable state of health. Their diet, daily habits and the quality of food would be determining factors. To the north of Pakistan, on the valley of the river Hunza to 2,400 meters of height, inhabits the town Hunza formed by men and women of a unique longevity. At first glance, it is smiling people, robust and very strong. Its inhabitants live on average 100 years of age, which led various anthropologists to study more about their customs, thoughts, rituals and lifestyle. Today we will tell you in detail why the Hunza people are believed to be the oasis of youth and how they managed to stay in good condition. Don't forget to share this story with your friends and colleagues. What is the secret of the Hunza people? The secret of the Hunza people lies directly in their healthy lifestyle. Their diet, a primary factor that delimits the excellent health they maintain, is rich in fruits and carbohydrates with an almost null intake of proteins. During the summer they eat a lot of raw vegetables and fruits. In the winter they feed on dried apricots, sheep cheeses and grains, which can germinate, such as millet, barley and wheat. 
The consumption of meat is limited to once or twice a year. Lamb or chicken. By tradition, the Hanza people make obligatory fasts where it feeds only on apricot juices. This occurs just before the fruit matures, as a waiting ritual. These periods of low food intake would also have helped strengthen their defenses, experts believe. In turn, the habit of consuming a lot of apricots would be what protects them from cancer. The seeds used to make oil contain vitamin B17, a potent anti-cancer delivered in small doses. Well, a large part of their diet is composed of grains, barley, millet, buckwheat and wheat. They also eat fruits and vegetables on a regular basis. For the most part, these are consumed fresh and raw, although some vegetables are cooked for a short time. Their preferred fruits and vegetables include potatoes, string beans, peas, carrots, turnip, squash, spinach, lettuce, apples, pears, peaches, apricots, cherries and blackberries. They also have a particular fondness for apricot pits. Milk and cheese are important sources of animal protein. Meat, although not completely eliminated, is consumed only very rarely, reserved for special occasions like marriages or festivals. This fact is no doubt one of the reasons why the Hanses have such healthy digestive systems. Even when meat is served, portions are very small, meat is cut into small pieces and stewed for a long time. Beef and mutton are rarely used, chicken is their most common source of animal protein. They generally eat meat only once a week, if that often, and live longer and stay healthier than we do. Walnuts, hazelnuts, almonds, beech nuts, etc. also comprise an important part of the Hunza diet. Along with fruit, or mixed into salads, nuts often constitute an entire meal. Daily Physical Exercise Although a large part of their day is spent outdoors, working the fields, the Hunzas do a lot more than that. For one thing, they take regular walks, a 15 or 20 kilometer hike is considered quite normal. Of course they don't walk that distance every day, but doing so does not require any special effort. You should also keep in mind that hiking along mountain trails is a lot more demanding than walking over flat terrain. In addition to daily physical exercise, the Hunzas practice certain basic yoga techniques, notably yogic breathing, which is slow, deep and rhythmic, and which makes use of the entire thoracic cavity. Don't wait, the best time to start living right is right now. You'll feel a whole new life opening up before you as soon as you start applying these marvelous secrets, which have been handed down from generation to generation, through the ages, and which are now yours to enjoy. All that remains is to wish you a long and healthy life. Don't forget to share this story with your friends and colleagues. Thanks for watching. The beauty of Hunza. I believe that you enjoy this movie. And the next very important is the principle of 80%. 80%? What is this? Hara Hachibu. This the Confucius mantra from 2000 years ago, which is spoken in Okinawa before a meal like that. You should stop eating when the stomach is 80% full. What's mean my grandmother teach us, you never eat everything what is in your table. You just wake up from the table when you feel that your stomach is a little bit hungry. And this make your body to be thin. I need to practice more of this. And the remaining one fifth of the difference between the satisfaction of hunger and satisfaction feeling, feeling of being full. But usually the difference between dropping excess weight or gaining. Residents of the Blue Zone consume the smallest meal in the late afternoon or early evening and later eat small portion at the end of the day. We just uh, always doing and training the people then the breakfast need to be big and always the, you have focus for your breakfast. 
the lunch need to be half like breakfast, but the dinner better than you give to your enemy. What's mean? Big portion in the breakfast, less in the lunch, and the smallest before we go sleep. And when we go sleep, we need to eat two minimum hours before we go to the bed. Nutrition. The legumes is the beans, peas, soybeans, and lentils are the basis diet of centurions. Meat the people eat one time per month or just every holidays in the year. And uh, many of these places, like Okinawa or Ikaria or Hunza, eat the meat just four times a month. What's mean or one time a month? Uh, comparative where the people live. But the most uh, popular is eat meat in the Sunday or just two times, three times a year. What's mean the more people is the vegetarian. And do you know what is the gold fruits for these people? It's almonds. The people draw the almonds, eat the fresh almonds, but the almonds is the key. Every day, if you go buy the almonds and you eat, draw like four or five pieces of almonds, 10 pieces of nuts, which is very healthy for your brain, you increase your healthy life to be better. Now is the very, very nice point is the wine. People who live uh, longer, exception uh, Adventist, just I talking about uh, blue zones, regularly drink small amounts of alcohol, but small is not glass. Is the little, little bit wine in Ikaria or in Okinawa, little, little bit sake. What's help from the digestion? I don't try this because I don't drink alcohol, but probably every person which I meet and I doing interview with older people, explain me then the drink little bit of wine. And something need to be good for these people. And the very, very important is the faith. Faith, the study showed, however, that participation in church service four times a month prolongs life from you guess from four to fourteen years to live longer this is amazing just go to the church every Sunday and when we pray because prayer is like meditation you just pray and you are quiet and you are connect with your body with your mind, with the spirit, with the God. And this is solution for every longevity. And I believe from this reason, because we are in the church very quiet, like two hours each week, we just pray, we singing, we have connection with spirit, but sometimes in the day it's very difficult to, to be. And uh, the faith, it's, the next important point and uh, relatives are always the most important element in the life on centurions this means the company of aging generation of their parents and grandparents is the house or near it the people live together for many generations and the happiness house have always grandparents. What's mean in the house, when we have father, grandfather or grandmother, we give him big respect. And this is the first person which we trust and is the very big respe respectful brain in the, in the house. We just talking then this is the brain in the house. What's mean the first words always have who? grandfather and next father maybe we show the next uh, beautiful movie about okinawa please what is the okinawa diet foods longevity and more okinawa is the largest of the ryukyu islands located off the coast of japan between the east china and philippine seas 
Okinawa belongs to one of five regions of the world known as Blue Zones. People who reside in Blue Zones live exceptionally long, healthy lives compared to the rest of the world's population. The lifespans enjoyed by Okinawans may be explained by several genetic, environmental, and lifestyle factors. That said, experts believe that one of the strongest influences is diet. This video explores the Okinawa diet, including its primary foods, health benefits, and possible drawbacks. What is the Okinawa diet? In the purest sense, the Okinawa diet refers to the traditional eating patterns of the people living on the Japanese island of Okinawa. Their unique diet and lifestyle are credited with giving them some of the longest lifespans on the planet. The traditional Okinawa diet is low in calories and fat while high in carbs. It emphasizes vegetables and soy products alongside occasional and small amounts of noodles, rice, pork, and fish. In recent years, the modernization of food production and dietary habits has led to a shift in the macronutrient content of the Okinawa diet. Although still low-calorie and primarily carb-based, it now contains more protein and fat. The macronutrient breakdown of the Okinawa diet is outlined in this table. Additionally, Okinawan culture treats food as medicine and utilizes many practices from traditional Chinese medicine. As such, the diet includes herbs and spices known for having health benefits, such as turmeric and mugwort. Okinawan lifestyle also emphasizes daily physical activity and mindful eating practices. The health benefits associated with the traditional Okinawan diet have given rise to a mainstream version intended to promote weight loss. While it encourages intake of nutrient-dense foods, this offshoot is heavily influenced by the Western diet. Foods to eat. Many of the Okinawa diet's benefits may be attributed to its rich supply of whole, nutrient-dense, high antioxidant foods. Essential nutrients are important for the proper function of your body, while antioxidants protect your body against cellular damage. Unlike other Japanese, Okinawans consume very little rice. Instead, their main source of calories is the sweet potato, followed by whole grains, legumes, and fiber-rich vegetables. The staple foods in a traditional Okinawan diet are Vegetables, 58 to 60 percent, sweet potato, orange and purple, seaweed, kelp, bamboo shoots, daikon radish, bitter melon, cabbage, carrots, Chinese okra, pumpkin, and green papaya. Grains, 33 percent, millet, wheat, rice, and noodles. Soy foods, 5 percent, tofu, miso, natto, and edamame. Meat and seafood, 1 to 2 percent, mostly white fish, seafood, and occasional pork all cuts, including organs. Other 1% alcohol, tea, spices, and dashi broth. What's more, jasmine tea is consumed liberally on this diet, and antioxidant-rich spices like turmeric are common. Food to avoid. The traditional Okinawa diet is quite restrictive compared to a modern, western diet. Because of Okinawa's relative isolation and island geography, a wide variety of foods have not been accessible for much of its history. Thus, to follow this diet, you'll want to restrict the following groups of foods. Meats, beef, poultry, and processed products like bacon, ham, salami, hot dogs, sausage, and other cured meats. Animal products, eggs and dairy, including milk, cheese, butter, and yogurt. Processed foods, refined sugars, grains, breakfast cereals, snacks, and processed cooking oils. Legumes, most legumes, other than soybeans other foods, most fruit, as well as nuts and seeds. Because the modern, mainstream version of the Okinawa diet is based primarily on calorie content, it allows for more flexibility. Some of the lower calorie foods like fruit may be permitted, although most of the higher calorie foods, such as dairy, nuts, and seeds, are still limited. Health Benefits of the Okinawa Diet the Okinawa diet has a number of health benefits, which are often attributed to its high antioxidant content and high-quality, nutritious foods. Longevity. The most notable benefit of the traditional Okinawa diet is its apparent impact on lifespan. Okinawa is home to more centenarians, or people who live to be at least 100 years old, than anywhere else in the world. Proponents of the mainstream version of the diet claim that it also promotes longevity, but no substantial research is available to validate these claims. Many factors influence longevity, including genetics and environment, but lifestyle choices also play a significant role. High levels of free radicals, or reactive particles that cause stress and cellular damage in your body, may accelerate aging. 
Research suggests that antioxidant-rich foods may help slow the aging process by protecting your cells from free radical damage and reducing inflammation. The traditional Okinawa diet is comprised primarily of plant-based foods that offer potent antioxidant and anti-inflammatory capacities, which possibly promote a longer lifespan. The diet's low-calorie, low-protein, and high-carb foods may also promote longevity. Animal studies suggest that a calorie-restricted diet made up of more carbs and less protein tends to support a longer lifespan, compared to high-protein Western diets. More research is needed to better understand how the Okinawa diet may contribute to longevity in humans. Reduced risk of chronic diseases. Okinawans not only live long lives but also experience fewer chronic illnesses, such as heart disease, cancer, and diabetes. Diet likely plays a role, as Okinawan foods boast essential nutrients, fiber, and anti-inflammatory compounds while being low in calories, refined sugar, and saturated fats. In the traditional diet, most calories come from sweet potatoes. Some experts even claim that the sweet potato is one of the healthiest foods you can eat. Sweet potatoes provide a healthy dose of fiber and have a low glycemic index GI, meaning that they don't contribute to sharp rises in blood sugar. They also offer essential nutrients like calcium, potassium, magnesium, and vitamins A and C. What's more, sweet potatoes, and other colorful vegetables frequently consumed on Okinawa contain powerful plant compounds called carotenoids. Carotenoids have antioxidant and anti-inflammatory benefits and may play a role in preventing heart disease and type 2 diabetes. The Okinawa diet also supplies relatively high levels of soy. Research suggests that particular soy-based foods are associated with a reduced risk of chronic illnesses like heart disease and certain types of cancer, including breast cancer. Potential downsides. Although the Okinawa diet has many benefits, possible drawbacks exist as well. Fairly restrictive. The traditional Okinawa diet excludes different groups of foods, many of which are quite healthy. This can make strict adherence to the diet difficult and may limit valuable sources of important nutrients. Moreover, some Okinawan foods may not be accessible depending on your location. For instance, the diet contains very little fruit, nuts, seeds, and dairy. Collectively, these foods provide an excellent source of fiber, vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants that can boost your health. Restricting these food groups may not be necessary, and could be detrimental if you're not careful to replace missing nutrients. For this reason, some people prefer the mainstream, weight-loss version of the Okinawa diet because it's more flexible with food choices. Can be high in sodium. The biggest downside to the Okinawa diet may be its high sodium content. Some versions of the diet dole out as much as 3,200 mg of sodium per day. This level of sodium intake may not be appropriate for some people particularly those who have high blood pressure. The American Heart Association recommends limiting sodium intake to 1,500 mg per day if you have high blood pressure and 2,300 mg per day if you have normal blood pressure. High sodium intake can increase retention of fluid within blood vessels, leading to increased blood pressure. Notably, the Okinawa diet tends to be high in potassium, which may offset some of the potential negative effects of high sodium intake. Adequate potassium intake helps your kidneys remove excess fluid, resulting in reduced blood pressure. If you're interested in trying the Okinawa diet but need to limit your sodium intake, try to avoid the foods highest in sodium, such as miso or dashi. Is the Okinawa diet right for you? Although the Okinawa diet has many positive health effects, some people may prefer a less restrictive or less carb-heavy diet. Several aspects of the diet may benefit your health, such as its emphasis on vegetables, fiber, and antioxidant-rich foods coupled with its restrictions on sugar, refined grains, and excess fat. Lifestyle principles promoted by Okinawan culture, including daily exercise and mindfulness, may also provide measurable health benefits. That said, these principles can likewise be applied to many other diets and lifestyles. If you're unsure whether the Okinawa diet fits your dietary goals, consider talking to your dietitian or healthcare provider to create a plan tailored to your needs. The bottom line. The Okinawa diet is based on the foods and lifestyle of Okinawa Islanders in Japan. It emphasizes nutrient-dense, high-fiber vegetables and lean protein sources while discouraging saturated fat, sugar, and processed foods. 
Although its benefits may include a longer lifespan, it can be restrictive and high in sodium. Still, a modern form of the diet lifts some of these restrictions, and is geared toward weight loss. Keep in mind that this modern version has not undergone rigorous scientific study. If you're interested in improving your overall health and boosting your longevity, the Okinawa diet could be worth trying out. Seniors can oftentimes have feelings of loneliness, loss, and sadness. Now is the time to motivate your mind and body. World-renowned author and motivator, Katrazina DeRose, can help mature adults renew their lives. With her selection of self-help books now available on Amazon, seniors can learn how to feel happy again, more independent, and enjoy what life has to offer. Older children can learn how to help their parents, improve their life habits, and be happy again. For more information, visit our website, purchase our books on Amazon, and learn to be positive for the rest of your life. I remind you, today we're just talking about beautiful and longevity, longevity places in the world. The Sardinia, Italy, Loma Linda, California, Okinawa, Japan, and Greek Ikaria, Iceland. It's not beautiful to show how the people live simply but healthy and just the movie explain you then the, you don't show you the many recipe of meat the meat it only went to two percent but the 68 to 70 percent is the vegetables one percent of spices and soya one percent if you thinking about food what we eat every day uh oh we have the big question for ourselves how can i change this food and today just now if you watch this show the power of life for seniors you just give me answer and give answer to yourself i want to be healthy and i want to walk for my last day when i am 120 years old it's possible yes it's possible it's possible and the people eat 33 percent of grains and uh, you never see in this movie the process of food it's very processed food is very unhealthy the people don't eat hamburgers the people don't eat fast food don't drink big 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 like this size cup of coca-cola or coffee or etc water what we need to drink i know in america we drink plenty of water which is very good and very healthy just water but not sweetness nothing sweetness uh, no sugar and not something will give us pleasure to drink the very good lemonade with something sweetness what this is addiction for the body and next we have surprise then the blood pressure is high and we have the diabetes problem and we are fatty here and here and what's happened to me i try to be healthy and i buy food what is the healthy no the food is not healthy. This is your decision, your private decision, what you make today and now. Do you want to cook? It's the pleasure for your body, for your lovely organs, what's work for you every, every day. And the places, what I explained just today and now, have the very happy people. They work actively to the end of his days. There is not nation of retirement. The people don't know what is retirement. When I ask his, when I visit the places, do you go to retired time? Where and when? And the people look for me, what's you mean retired? The people work every day. We just have plan in the head. Then when we cross 65, we go to retired time. We just sit in home and we watch TV or we travel. We need to imagine and take the dream and action Then we won't be independent and work all the time because work and job give us to be happy and healthy we wake up in the morning and we have something like ikagai what's mean why we wake up in the morning we have something to do 
we take the shower, we go work, and the develop the endorphins, hormones, happiness. And um, diseases are extremely rare there. Cancer, high disease, heart attack, stomach ulcers, and uh, measles, mumps. This is never happen in this place. It's not a magic place to live. But the people don't have too much industry, don't have cars, don't just go and walk when want to meet the friends or want to meet the family or just take the bicycle. These people don't have TV. And many of you give me always question, yeah, but I watch TV because I live here in civilization place. Yes, but TV just don't open for itself. You need to take the pilot and open, open. and this is your choice more you are try to be activity this is better for your future and if we go work in the garden we have vitamin d we have exercise natural exercise and you have beautiful place and healthy vegetables or just flowers but be active and take your choice to live healthy 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 you don't tell me that you are unhealthy because just you have TV in your home. Yes, you have, I have. But this is my goal and my choice to open TV every day. Do you believe that I don't watch TV all day? I never open TV. I open TV when I want to watch the news or something, geography, historical movie. I don't watch too much movie and I don't open TV just to be and give me the noise. I watch Central Valley talk show when I have many information about place where I live. The news is very important. What's happening in us country is important. What's happening in the world is important, but not too much. And you have possibility select the information. Another interesting characteristic about them is that they shower, shower with cold water, even in 10 degrees below zero, <laughs> very cold. They are very vital and gave birth, even men have 60 years. Men, uh, I know many, many, for example, then the men after 90 stay the father, but the woman after 60. Because the woman, when I give her question, do you know what is menopause? The woman look for me and don't know, and just start menopause after 60. Uh, I think it's good. It's not bad. And uh, I have now the amazing movie about next place in Ikaria. Tales about the Fountain of Youth have been passed down through centuries, yet we still haven't managed to find it. Or have we? The people of one small Greek island would have you believe so. Keep watching to find out how they managed to live a lot longer than the rest of us. Before we get into the hows and whys, you've got to hear more about this place. Located in the Aegean Sea, Greece's 98-square-mile island Ikaria is home to approximately 8,500 people. Many believe these people hold the secret to eternal youth. Well, maybe not eternal, but one-third of Ikaria's population does live to be in their 90s and even older, and the majority of them are in good health by the time they get there. Compare that with the U.S. average life expectancy of 78 years, the U.K.'s 81 years, and Canada's 82 years. So, what is their secret? Well, they've got plenty. Number one, a healthy diet. This one may not come as a big surprise, but their well-balanced diet does play a role here. These people aren't chowing down on greasy burgers and giant milkshakes at 1 a.m. every weekend. Since a Korea is located on a secluded island, rough seas often deterred merchants away from trading goods with them over the years. That forced the island's inhabitants to be more self-sufficient and grow their own crops. This way of life has continued all the way up to the present day, and you'd be hard-pressed to find an Icarian who doesn't have their own year-round garden on their property, even today. They love growing fruits and veggies for delicious dishes they make from scratch. Their diet consists of beans, herbs, nuts, and, of course, seasonal fruits and vegetables. 
These non-processed foods packed with all kinds of antioxidants seem to have an undeniable impact on their health. Without all the pesticides and preservatives in their food, it's no wonder so little of Ikaria's residents suffer from diseases like Alzheimer's and dementia when compared to those in other parts of the world. I guess it's true what they say. You are what you eat. Number two, their sense of community. The Ikarian people are very community-oriented, and being there for one's neighbor, no matter what, seems to be their life motto. This way of thinking developed over time because of a pretty rough history not short of invasions by other nations. Through tough times, these people have learned to stick together and have each other's back. This strong sense of community also isn't all that surprising, since Ikarians live on a secluded island. Sure, they're not trapped there, and they can venture out by boat or a plane. Yes, they do have an airport. It's just that most of them are perfectly content staying right where they are. And wouldn't you be too if your homeland was famous for keeping people alive for a really long time? Since families tend to live here generation after generation, close friends and relatives usually live within walking distance from each other, making it easy to keep that connection strong with regular visits. It's totally normal here to ask your neighbor to help you with something or lend some ingredient for a dish you're whipping up. It really does sound like a little piece of utopia. Number three, an active lifestyle. Ikaria is full of rocky roads, which makes even short walks a little more strenuous. While this may sound like a pain in the feet, if you grew up walking these paths from an early age, the exercise wouldn't tire you as fast. Ikarians do a ton of walking around, and since they're so communal, a lot of this walking is to and from each other's homes for visits. This active lifestyle is great for maintaining a healthy weight, and it keeps their cardiovascular health in tip-top shape, even into their old, old age. See? Who needs an overpriced gym membership? Number four, no clocks. Between your job, social life, and daily errands, it's hard not to feel completely controlled by the clock. But people in Ikaria don't feel this way. Unlike most other people in the world, they don't base their daily activities around what time it is. They also don't make plans set in stone. They like to leave things open. So if you make plans with a friend to cook dinner together, they'll show up whenever they think the time's right. They never look at a clock or schedule to see what time they should drop by. Everything is very go with the flow. Hey, I could get used to that. Number five, more naps. Thanks to the absence of clocks, the people of Ikaria listen to their bodies more. So if they feel like taking a nap in the middle of the afternoon, they take one. Could you imagine taking a nap right in the middle of a workday? It simply wouldn't fly. After a nice afternoon nap, Ikarians feel energized well into the late evening so they can easily socialize and do fun activities until early morning. And then, when they drift off to sleep for the night, they wake up when their body is ready. No alarm, no snooze button. Sounds too good to be true. Number six, less stress. In most parts of the world, the go, go, go rat race is just how life is, and you've got to deal with it. But in Ikaria, nearly 40% of people don't have jobs. While this sounds stressful, it's actually part of what makes these people worry-free. Since they don't have much disposable income, they're not worried about buying the latest this or that or trying to keep up with the mortgage payment on some lavish home. They're happy with what they have and enjoy living modestly. Hey, without the stress of your job, rent, and credit card bills, what else is there to worry about? Number seven, spending time with family. Ikaria is one of five places that scientists call blue zones. No, this isn't because they live near water. Being a blue zone means that the people in some specific place live longer than those in the rest of the world. There are villages in Italy, Costa Rica, Japan, and California that are also designated as blue zones. Something that experts studying in Korea and other blue zones have noticed is that these people are very close with their families. The elders play a pretty significant role in their daily lives. There aren't any old folks homes or anything like that. In fact, grandparents often help raise their grandkids and even run the family business. One 2009 study published in the Journal of Social Neuroscience says that emotional support from family and friends can literally pull you out of depression and enhance the brain activity in the frontal lobe. In layman's terms, it's a total mood booster. Number eight, they don't hold on to things. Do you find yourself holding grudges against people you fell out with years ago? All this negative energy can really aid you because it stresses you out and puts you in a bad mood. Hanging on to grudges can even hold you back from experiencing new things. But in Ikaria, people live in the moment and try not to get upset about things that have happened in their lives. 
Icarian people love dancing and celebrating with each other and being their true authentic selves. Life is way more fun this way. They manage to live more uninhabited and are less stressed for it. It's not surprising that the therapy profession isn't really a thing over there. Number 9. They don't use Western medicine. When you have a headache, you take some aspirin. When you have a stomach ache, you gulp down what looks like hot pink nuclear waste. You won't find these kinds of medicines over in Ikaria. Instead of Western medicinal practices, the people of Ikaria practice more natural medicine and stick to non-processed materials to heal the body. They typically use herbs to treat ailments like cuts and rashes and let the body heal itself at its own pace. So, which of the Ikarians' everyday practices would you adopt to live a longer, happier life? Sound off in the comments below. I, for one, like the idea of getting rid of my alarm clock. Don't forget to give this video a like, share it with your friends, and click subscribe to stay on the bright side. Welcome, welcome. How do you like this video? I think you enjoyed the time when you've been with me in Okinawa, Ikaria, and we've been in Greece and, and in Himalaya. I think the beautiful travel was I give you today. I think you enjoyed this time with me. And when we're just talking about healthy food, the food improve your brain function. And one of my book, The York White to Positive Life, The Brain Gymnastic for Adult, was it's possible to buy, I don't see the book, but maybe I show you next, uh, next uh, folder. The books, it's available in the Barnes & Noble and in the Amazon. The book's power of comes after the age of 50 is the possible to buy in Amazon and Barnes and Noble, of course, and I dedicate this book especially for women. But you start with my first book, Your Path to Happiness, Health with Absolutely No Age Limits. And this book teach you everything and you change your habits. This book is available with the Spanish language too. And today we just finished the beautiful show, The Power of Life for Seniors. Change your life, repeat, watch everything, and take something for yourself to change your life, to change your habits, and live with me 120 years. I wish you the best day today, and see you next week. Seniors can oftentimes have feelings of loneliness, loss, and sadness. Now is the time to motivate your mind and body. World-renowned author and motivator, Katrazina DeRose, can help mature adults renew their lives. With her selection of self-help books now available on Amazon, seniors can learn how to feel happy again, more independent, and enjoy what life has to offer. Older children can learn how to help their parents, improve their life habits, and be happy again. For more information, visit our website, purchase our books on Amazon, and learn to be positive for the rest of your life.